Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to another channel update video. And thankfully, this month, it's just a normal channel update video. So if you don't know what we do in these videos, it's pretty simple. In a channel update video, once a month, I get on camera and I talk for 10 to 15 minutes about what's going on with the channel, what you can expect in the coming month for videos. I sort of reflect back a little bit on what the last month has had to do, uh, what we've had to do on, on YouTube. And uh, also, I just kind of give my thoughts on, you know, the state of things and, and maybe give you a little insight into how I'm feeling in case you all didn't get that enough from the, you know, something like a hundred. It's about a hundred. I think it's about a hundred videos I put out a month right now. So <laughs> uh, this is what we do. Uh, this one is a normal one. The last two months have been uh, February. We uh, did a Patreon announcement video, including my wife, Meg, um, as a sit down conversation. And the month before that, we did a setup tour of this room. So this is the first time that I'm just sitting down to talk to a camera and talk about what video games we're playing in two whole months. And I am excited to do that. And that's also good because uh, frankly, uh, you are watching me not at my best. Yesterday, as of the filming of this video, um, we did an Outlast charity stream over on Twitch.tv. It was an absolute ton of fun. Shout out to the YouTube people who came by. I appreciate all of you. We raised like $800 for, uh, for a charity close to my heart called To Write Love on Our Arms, uh, which is a nice mental health charity. Um, but my nerves are just like a little bit fried. I mean, I talked for a long time and screamed for seven hours or whatever. Uh, but also, uh, I just got the shit scared out of me for seven straight hours. So my nerves are a little bit fried. So... I'm glad we're just doing a normal, very chill uh, video here today. I got some stuff to talk about. Speaking of Outlast, we have some video games to talk about. But first, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to the people who supported us on Patreon um, in the last month, like 28 days since we launched or whatever. Um, yeah, I have some notes here. Megan and I have been blown away, honestly. I know I wrote that on the notes, but I also do mean it. We have been blown away. I wasn't sure what to expect from the first month of Patreon. My goal with Patreon was like, let's work on it for a year and um, and then we can reevaluate where we're at and if we're happy that we did it and all of that. And since my wife isn't here right now, I can say this because uh, she probably wouldn't want me saying this, but um, I can say without a doubt one month in that it has been worth it just from the sheer like just from like seeing the signs of relief and the excitement and etc on her face every time I tell her uh, that a new person supported us on Patreon. So if you're one of those people, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're blown away by by you guys. So thank you. Um, I also have written here, it's a good feeling to wake up every day and go to work on something that you believe in. It is an incredible blessing to wake up every day and to know, I spelled it wrong, N-O, and to know, K-N-O-W, that other people believe in it too. So more about Patreon here um, at the very end of the video. But until then, let's talk about videos. In the last month, what has been going on? Well, great question. Thanks for asking. Okay, we are back. I actually had to, uh, I actually made a mistake when I switched to this screen. As you can tell, I'm a little bit tired. Uh, we had sound alerts that happened yesterday during our charity stream, AKA you could, you could make like an air horn play in order to scare the shit out of me. And the air horn just went off when I switched to the scene. I'm not sure exactly why, but we got to figure it out. Welcome back. Let's talk about the last month here on YouTube. And frankly, a little bit, let's talk about like the last three months. Um, since it's been a while since we've checked in on any of these things. Hey, this has been a very pleasant surprise. We started playing Subnautica just over a month ago. And that has been an incredible gaming experience. Incredible. I've been very surprised in multiple ways. One, Subnautica might be the best game I've ever played. Um, Skyrim fans don't get uh, your panties in a twist. Don't worry. Skyrim also might be one of the best games I've ever played. I don't know how I could pick between the two, but uh, Subnautica has been incredible. It's also been very cool to find a group of people who are enthusiastic and excited to wake up to Subnautica videos every day. Um, I love meeting enthusiastic people on this website and people who are like fans of something, really into something. That enthusiasm and like excitement fills me with excitement and it makes my my job so much fun so subnautica incredible we're 35 episodes in there's no way in hell that we will be done in the next month um at least you know at least another month probably probably closer to two maybe I, I don't really know i'm playing it blind i have no idea how much longer we've got but those videos will keep coming out every single day so don't don't worry about that um yeah two thumbs up for subnautica next after that we're up to episode 287 here on skyrim and no plans of slowing down there either two thumbs up for skyrim too um the last time we checked in on skyrim was probably in the december update video so uh since then what's happened well 
loads. I mean, we finished the main quest of the game. Um, we have done an extra DLC, probably two since I last checked in. Um, we're working through, we're, we've got, a, I would say, a good working definition of like what exactly we want to get done in this playthrough. We're not going to do everything, but we're going to do a lot. And I think that will put us probably close to 365 episodes, a full year of Skyrim with any uh, long playthrough like that. I mean, I've never done a playthrough that long, but with any long playthrough, a third of the length of Skyrim, you have to sort of, from my perspective, you have to sort of like prepare yourself for um, the natural ebbs and flows of interest, you know, in a 287 episode long playthrough. Um, your own interest, you know, am I still excited to play Skyrim? And also the interest of other people. Are they still excited to watch me play Skyrim 287 episodes later? Those ebbs and flows are natural. Uh, the thing that is continually cool about Skyrim is that 287 episodes in, I'm still very interested and it seems like plenty of people are still interested in Skyrim. So uh, that's cool for me. That's really cool for me. So yeah, um, great for Skyrim. We're going to keep going. Uh, at this point, we're going to keep going because I want, mostly because I want to wrap up this first very special playthrough in a really awesome way. I play a lot of games. I don't know how, I don't know when I'll get to play Skyrim next. I want to make this first playthrough as special as I can. Uh, let's see if I have any notes on Skyrim. Other than that, no. At least another two to three months, it says. I think that's probably right. In the last 40 days, it's actually been a little bit longer. We started playing it on, we started streaming it on Twitch probably almost two months ago. We have been playing Sekiro. If you guys don't know what Sekiro is, no one person should be this lucky, first off. I am playing Skyrim for the first time, a life-changing gaming experience. I'm playing Subnautica for the first time, a life-changing gaming experience. I would go to bat for Sekiro as a game the likes of Subnautica and Skyrim, at least in terms of like the very special journey it takes you on. If you don't know Sekiro, basically, it's a sword fighting game, samurai game, you know, you're, you're battling with a sword. But more importantly, it comes from From Software. Um, it's one of the Souls games, or Souls universe of games. And what that means for somebody that doesn't know, like I didn't know two months ago, is basically uh, you are going to have a hell of a journey of sucking at the game, being bad at the game, feeling like the game is being cruel to you, being beaten down by the game, and then eventually, hopefully, as long as you persist, coming out the other side. And we are coming out the other side right now. We're 40 episodes in, and ooh, buddy. We've gotten good. I would say we've gotten good. We're no longer the worst player. We're at least the second or third worst player. And we're approaching an ending to this game. And I cannot, I'm so invested. We stream it almost every day on Twitch because I'm just so invested in, in what's gonna happen. So, um, and like the other games that we're playing right now, it has like a very devoted fan base, which I think is really awesome. So, um, before anyone asks me if I'm playing Elden Ring on stream, I'm not playing it right now. I will be playing it someday once we dip our toes in that from soft water from software uh water a little bit more so that's sekiro um we will be done probably in the next week or, or two weeks probably some other things have happened over the last month um one of those has been geoguessr you've seen geoguessr games pop up megan and i don't have an actual like co-op playthrough happening right now i would love to get back to one but we're just really really busy um we haven't been able to schedule one so what we do do is we play geoguessr occasionally together sometimes that's been fun a lot of fun I would say GeoGuessr will just pop up occasionally as Megan and I get time to play it. Hopefully, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we're playing it in a year and it's episode like 40. You know, we're just playing it occasionally. Um, it's fun for us. I hope it's fun for you guys. That's GeoGuessr. Um, Megan is fully addicted to it. Uh, the other things you may have noticed in the last month, let's talk about a, a, a cool professional step for me. We have YouTube shorts going out on YouTube and also, frankly, they're going out on our on our other social medias like uh, Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Um, we have shorts, which is very cool. So here's uh, a little bit of behind the scenes on this. You can expect one probably once a week or so for now. Um, we are doing shorts for a couple of reasons. First off, shout out to El Dempsey, uh, a good friend and also the person who is editing these shorts. I don't have the time to do it. El Dempsey is doing it. Thank you, El Dempsey, for doing it. Um, yeah, so shout out to him. Um, we are doing these... I wanted to say a little bit about why we are putting out shorts. I've been meaning to put out shorts for a year and a half, and we are finally getting to put some out um, because of LDMC helping me out with that. Um, so shout out to him. Um, why are we doing it? Here's the number one reason for me. The number one reason for me to put out YouTube shorts. I want some of the most incredible, most special, you know, 
the, the, the like legendary moments of our playthroughs, if we have any, <laughs> those legendary moments, I want them to be preserved. I want them to be cultivated. I want them to be like, be like uh, in a special place where we can always find them. I can find them. You can find them if you want to return to it someday. And in a 280, soon to be 360 probably, episode playthrough of Skyrim, it's really hard to do that. So I like taking the special moments out, giving them their own little life, and then we can always return to them. That's the number one reason. Now, the second reason uh, that we are trying YouTube Shorts is it's it's not the second most important reason. It's probably somewhere around like seventh or eighth important reason. Um, growth is not a priority for me. Um, it's not a priority in anything that I do here on YouTube, but it should at some point be a thing that I think about. And uh, so growth is in the back of my mind always. And I think YouTube Shorts gives us a great chance to experiment with some video editing stuff, experiment with like throwing things on the social media walls and sort of seeing what sticks. Um, yeah. And uh, so that's why we do shorts. Uh, I will say, if you've watched this far into the video and you have any feedback on any of our shorts, uh, we welcome that. Specifically, you know, I would say constructive criticism more than just criticism. But if you have feedback on shorts or like, hey, this popped up on my YouTube shorts or hey, this popped up on my Instagram reels or whatever. Um, and you have any ideas, let me know. Or if you ever see a, a clip that you think would make a really good, uh, you know, a clip, uh, let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, okay, what is next for us? That's the last month of th new things that's been happening. What's next for us? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Outlast is, uh, where is it? Outlast is coming uh, to YouTube very soon. As soon as I can, we filmed it yesterday. Or we, we streamed it yesterday. Probably in the next two days, Outlast, a full hour, you know, hour-long episodes every day will be coming out uh, to YouTube, probably around the time that this video goes live, actually. Um, yeah, so if you enjoy watching me shit myself, um, Outlast would be the one. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I got any other good notes here. Oh, yeah. The thing I wanted to say about Outlast, which I will say very quietly so that no one can hear me, is that it's honestly a surprisingly good game. Um, don't tell anyone on, the, on stream that I said that, or else they'll make me play Outlast too. But... You know, aside from like the fact that I was existentially terrified and my heart was beating and like I felt like I was having a panic attack again, um, which I haven't had in a couple years, thank God. Aside from all of that, Outlast was like really well written, really well developed. Like it was a beautiful game, actually, um, in a weird fucked up sort of way. So Outlast will be coming soon to YouTube. Um, what else is coming up next? I have on my notes here. What else can you expect from us in the next month? a podcast yes that is right over on patreon megan and i hit our first goal in our first month of patreon thank you to again a huge thank you to the very generous people over there we put this goal out there because we sort of have always wanted to start a podcast and i've had plenty of ideas about how to do one and you guys hit it in the first month so now megan and i have to figure out how to do a podcast we have some ideas um we have you know We've got a lot in the works. Uh, we're actually going to be recording it in the next probably week or so. It will probably come out at some point in March. The one thing I would say about this too is um, we're going to like take it in our own direction. You know, we, we could make a podcast about like YouTube and Twitch stuff. Um, and I'm sure that that would be fine. But I think if we're going to do this, we're going to like pedal to the metal. Megan and I are going to try and make a podcast about something else. Um that may also feature some talks about uh, Twitch and YouTube occasionally, but yeah, we'll let you guys know uh, when that is available. Um, it's not just gonna be on Patreon, it's gonna be available to everyone. So plenty of details uh, coming up on that soon. That's uh, that's the excitement there. Um, yeah, speaking of Patreon, if you've supported in the last month, thank you very much. I will give a, a short little Patreon update here uh, for people who, shoot, we're on the wrong screen again, sorry. Um, for people who are patrons, uh, yeah, the thing I would say is we are we're sending out postcards. We have the postcards in. We're going to send them out here in the next two days. Uh, we're going to send out some handwritten letters to the people who who supported at that level. And um, yeah, we and we're excited to do that. Megan's new newsletter will come out. I think by the time this video hits YouTube, Megan will have a news a new newsletter, monthly newsletter out on Patreon. So you can see that there for free as well. Yeah, I think that's literally all we have here. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. There are birds chirping outside. I can hear it right now, and I cannot wait for spring to get here. Holy shit! I would say that that is all for this month. 
thank you guys so much for uh for for watching this video this long if you have if you have watched it um i hope that you are safe i hope that you're healthy i hope that you're happy um some scary times in the world right now but i just wanted to say maybe it's because the charity stream is on my mind right now but um, you're not alone um reach out if you need anything and uh i'm so proud of this little community that we have you guys might be a little community but we're a very tight community tightest community on the internet so we will see you i mean 30 minutes after this with a skyrim video i'm sure but we'll see you then Bye bye